Hey, hello everybody, welcome back. Doing some flashback. Hey, Jake. Exactly. Um, so, you voted last week. Didn't have nearly as many votes as the prior week, which had over 300. There were 214 votes. Um, so we'll start at last place, as per usual. Copycat with 26. And, of, of course, it just got banned in standard. And, uh, now apparently you banned it from this series. So, <laughs> who knows, who knows when we're gonna see it again. Um, maybe, maybe in vintage. Everybody's just sick of it. Yeah, maybe in vintage. Maybe we'll yeah. do it in vintage. Um, <laughs> yeah, so second last place, we had Spineless Revolution with 41. You'd think that would be in last because it's a spineless in the name, but that's okay. Uh, Thopter Combo with 59 in second place. And number one, we had Sun's Toll with 88. So that's what I'm playing. Uh, next week, Spineless Revolution comes back. Thopter Combo comes back. And two new ones that two different people suggested were Scepter Reversal and Next Level Abzan. So that'll be there. Voting's in the description. Let's uh let's aim for I'll go with a conservative two forty five this week. Two two hundred and forty five votes. Yeah. It's a little less than two fifty. Let's let's try for that. Let's try for that. Okay, so that's that. I'll be going first, since uh I'm the challenger deck, and we will see you in game one. Okay, game one. Here's my hand. Show it for the camera. To you. And I've got... Those. Whoop. Alright. So, I'm going to lead with an Arid Mesa. Pass the turn. The nice thing about... Uh, Fetches and shock lands in this deck is I can pretty much always have them untapped even if I don't need them untapped. What did Foothills crack? My life total does not matter. We are going to bolt ourselves going all the way. 17. You're the breeding pool. <laughs> yeah, you're actually doing damage, so. Yeah. It does shorten your clock a bit. So unless, uh, unless I'm worried about Noble Hierarch beatdown... I mean, it could always happen. It's true. It's possible. I've seen it. Glistener Elf. Sure. Enter go. I'm gonna crack that. Go all the way to 17. Get something red and white and bolt that. Let's get a signed one. So why not? Okay, untap. Draw a card. Scalling turn. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Ink Moth Nexus. Yep. And a Blighted Agent. Sure. Jergo. Crack that. Go to 16. Should probably get... I'll get a blue thing. Blue and... Red. Steam vents. Untapped. Going Go to, to 14. 14. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be dealing more life point damage to myself than you are. So I'd be impressed if I managed to deal one. I would too. Play like a Malira, I guess. That would do it. <laughs> Just to turn off Infect. And I think we'll go for a Helix on the Agent. Ah. Go back to 17. Not that it matters. Untap. Draw a card. That was unfortunate. Pass turn. Ooh. Yeah. Untap. You still got that Nexus. Draw for turn. Which is spoopy. Forest. Yep. Activate Nexus. Yep. One beat. No blocks, obviously. And... We're going to growth it. Go sure. 15. The mutagenic variety. Yep. And just the three. Take the three. Go to three infect. Enter go. Draw a card. Here's a planes. Um, it's not a particularly good one. But I suppose... Here's a Kazool's Toll Collector. Pass the turn. 
Untap. Drop return. Hmm. Fortunately, he does not have flying. Tap though. Yes. Activate Ink Moth Nexus. Yep. And. It's a bit of a waste. A ground swell. Sure. Just for two. You got it. Three. No blocks, clearly. Just three. Go to six. Enter go. Unzap. Draw a card. Uh, can we get a land one time? Please? What are you at? 15? Yes. Th Sword of Fire and Ice. We'll attach it for free using his ability. That's pretty handy. Yeah. And we'll attack you for 5. Take it going to 10. And then we'll deal 2 to you with the sword and draw Eight. a card. Ah! It wasn't a land. It was not a land. Go. Untap. I think I really needed that to be a land. Drop return. You're tapped out. I am tapped out. Activate Ink Moth Nexus. Yep. Become immense. That'll do it. I believe that's five. Yes. That'll more than do it. Seven. I am dead. Ooh. So these were my last two draws. Oh. And I already had that and then <laughs> a bunch of threes. <laughs> So, that, I, I was considered, I'm like, oh, I can keep that up if I draw a land. That's pretty good. Draw planes. <laughs> but, yeah, the double blue kind of sucks there. And yeah. You only really want to get it off Sunforger. Yeah, definitely not. So, uh, that was game one, and we will see you in sideboards. Okay, sideboard time. Also, Mr. Boopster's here. Um, so, I'll go over mine first. Uh, we're tear. I'll just start here. It's okay against you. It can blow up a Nexus. It could potentially blow up a Rancor, although I don't know why you'd want to when starting play. So that's not coming in. Uh, spell Pierce and Dispel, not great against you because most of your stuff either costs one or, like, if I'm countering one instant, it's not going to do much because you have so much redundancy. More for counter war yeah. than it is. Batter Skull is atrocious because life gain doesn't matter. Um, Electrolyze is pretty okay. I mean... It, it's hard to actually get a two for one with this, but it does have some appeal. Um, you do already have one in the main board. Exactly, exactly. Uh, volcanic upheaval. It does destroy a nexus. I don't know if that's good enough, but yeah, it's it does more for do Tron. It. It's an yeah. instant you can fetch it. Yeah, combo. Yeah. Um, Apostle's blessing doesn't really do anything. Hindering light doesn't do anything for the same reasons. D uh, deflecting palms really cool because it doesn't actually target anything. He so, chose the source. It's yeah. not targeting the source. Yeah. So I can actually get around, uh, like, a bless... What, what's that card? I don't remember now. Blossoming defense. defense. I was going to say Blessed Binds. Alliance, but I have that. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Volcanic Fallout seems really good against you. You can fetch it, uh, and it blows up a bunch of X1s. If So it's, it's much easier to get two-for-ones and three-for-ones, potentially, with this than it is with this. Um... Path to Exile is great because it doesn't care how much you pump your guy, unlike burn spells. And Blessed Alliance is really good if you only have one attacker coming in because I don't have to target it, and you I can just make you sack it. Yeah, the gain for life is pointless, but hey. So, uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this and in. And can untap blockers if somehow you need that. That's true. That's true. There's two creatures attacking instead. Yes. So I think I'm gonna bring these in. Now, Electrolyze is probably, like, one of the ones that maybe you are supposed to bring in, maybe you're not. Um, but I do think it's, like, I have a lot of pretty bad cards against you, so I think it's worth it. So what I'm taking out is Counterflux. Um, it's hard to cast if you draw it, and I don't That's really exactly care about countering spells. So, Sword of Fire and Ice. Um, I put it on to draw land, and it didn't draw me land, so I'm taking it out for spite <laughs> reasons. That's that's not actually true. It's it just doesn't have protection from anything that you have, so it's not great. Ojutai's command. It's expensive and it gains you life, and that's not yeah. You useful. don't want to gain life. Yeah. Countering a spell at four or a creature spell exactly. at four mana isn't yeah. really useful. Yeah. Um, brutal expulsion. It kind of just does the same thing as some of these, but these are cheaper. Uh, Bedlam Rattler. Just a just a boring dude. 
and I'm taking out one sensor. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, because, I mean, the cycling is nice, but really, like, countering something unless you pay one is not super helpful. So, I don't know. That could be right, that could be wrong. But I'm taking these out, putting these in. As for me, we have two carry-on calls. This makes extra uh, infect creatures at instant speed. Seems pretty good, because you have an abundance of removal, and dropping this at the end of turn yeah, there's is pretty a lot. powerful. <laughs> so I think we're bringing these in. Acre Claw Mirror, not as helpful. It's an infect body, but it's kind of pretty bad. Yeah. So we don't really need it. Another infect body can occasionally hit your combo, so it seems pretty useful. Yep. Contagion Clasp, not really helpful in this matchup. Well, considering all my dudes have more than one toughness, too. Especially. Yeah, like it's not killing anything, yeah. and it's pretty slow. Dismember, we don't really need to deal with his creatures too much, and it's actually one of the cards I'm cutting. Nature's Claim we could bring in, though we're not too worried about the combo necessarily. More his abundance of removal before that. Mm -hmm. Cages don't do anything. Spell Sky definitely yeah, that's, helps prevent all those it's pretty absurd. burn spells and whatnot. Wild Defiance, we have two in the main already, so I don't believe I need a third. And Relic, once again, no use for the graveyard. So we're bringing these four in. We're taking out this Dismember. One Distortion Strike, and the Rancors, because he has enough removal that he can actually yeah. get rid of these in response. Yeah, Rancor is definitely the most lackluster against a deck that has tons of removal. So these four are coming out. These four are coming in. That sounds good. And we will see you in Game 2. Alright, Game 2. Show my hands. what I've got. Go ahead. And we've got... Those. Okay. I'm going to leave again with an Arid Mesa. Pass the turn. suppose I'll be needing this, probably. Breeding pool. 18. Yepers. And a Glistener Elf. Okay. Jergo. Crack that. Go to 19. Um. Let's see. No point in trying to bluff that I have a Lightning Bolt. Especially because if I did, I'd probably just cast it. Yeah. Most <laughs> likely to be the case. Yeah. Just in case I get Noble Hierarch beat down. We'll make that come in tapped. Draw a card. All right. I do, however, have a Lightning Helix. And I'm, of course, doing this on my turn so that you don't get max value on your own turn. Yes. And I'll go to 22. Pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. You're going to want to pick fights on your own turn. A walled. Yep. And an agent. Okay. Sure go. Unzap. Draw a card. It's interesting. Well. Untapped Halifem. Go to 20? Yes. Yes. Trying to think of what life toll I was actually at. Down one, up yeah. three, down two. Exactly. Um. Yeah. Just always pick fights on your turn. Electrolyze one to that, one to you. Yep. Woo! It actually happened. Draw a card. Pass turn. Untap. Didn't think Draw I'd get that one turn. through. I thought maybe you'd have a mutagenic. Ah. Not Nexus. Of course. <laughs> Blighted agent. Jeez. Alright. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Just got all the threats. Flooded strand. And. Hmm. Well. Try to path it. Yeah, path does get it. <laughs> Woo!
forest. Okay. Then Crack strand, go to 19. I think we'll grab another steam vents, should be good. Cards are in? Four cards. Steam vents untapped, go to 17. Squire. Pass the turn. Untap. If you can kill me this turn, I'm going to be very upset. Draw for turn. Wow. Pendlehaven. Alright. Uh, you're probably going to kill me this turn. Activate Inkmoth Nexus. Yep. Pendlehaven. Yep. Turn him into a 2 3. Yep. Might have old Corosa. Yep. And we had a land enter. Groundswell. <laughs> you got me. That pen so, even <laughs> off the top is exactly what did it. Yeah, so I actually figured, uh, like, I was debating leaving this up, but I'm thinking, like, if you have two things... Then you're not getting it. Then it's, it. it's not... Yeah. I suppose I could have done that on your upkeep? Might have not been a bad idea? Well, actually, yeah. no, because yeah, that wouldn't have been active, right? So you would have been able to do both yeah, of those Yeah, you had anyway. to have waited yeah. until I could activate so. that, so... You got me. <laughs> All right. Pendle even off the top. Well... Actually, tap it. Yeah, 10 damage. <laughs> All right. Is that exactly 10? Yeah, yes. it is. Oh, yeah, that's, just that's a profoundly re- upsetting. <laughs> I burned through one, two, three, <laughs> three pieces of removal, but that's still not enough if you killed me in one shot. Man, this deck is a monster. Anyway, so uh, I might as well show you what this was supposed to do if you don't know, since not ever going to. The whole idea here is he put a Sun Forger on either him or Kazool's Toll Collector. And then you pay two mana to unattach it, and then that gives you free reign to find, like, a bunch of silver bullet type yeah, spells. Yeah, it finds a red or white instant yeah. convert a mana cost four or less. Yeah, yeah. So it plays a whole bunch of multicolored spells mm-hmm. that fit that. Yeah. For a wide variety of situations. Yeah, Since so then... both of these get around having to pay an equip cost. Exactly. He, he's especially good because you can just keep doing it over and over, but uh, the benefit of Brass Squire is you can do it at instant speed, too, so, like, you can always block and then tap to attach this to make it huge... Or, you know, do stuff like this on your opponent's turn, whereas this, you have to do it as sorcery speed mm-hmm. for most of them, if you want to, like, machine gun it. Yeah, but, when you have uh, both of them together, it could be yeah. pretty deadly on the yeah. opponent's turn, because you can leave it attached to him, exactly. attach it, put it back on, find yeah. spells. Yeah, there's some cool stuff. Plus, I mean, this does get plus four, plus oh, so that is a win condition in its own right, which is And it just plays enough burn spells, yeah. removal, yeah. has a few counters that it can fetch. Yeah. It's a pretty interesting yeah. deck. It is. But against... Yeah, I guess and uh, it's sometimes, a slow. sometimes you just draw, <laughs> you just draw essentially plus twenty, plus twenty, <laughs> after uh, dealing with <laughs> four <laughs> removal spells. Oh man. Okay. Well, that was this matchup. Uh, don't forget to vote. It's in the thing. Um, vote for something that has a chance against Infect. Would would be nice. That would be my suggestion. Like, don't vote for Thopter combo because that will never win. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> gaining life matters not at all. Um, yeah, so that's this, and we will see you on Friday for Super Sealed. Good stuff. Bye!